Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and do our first assignment in Ibis Paint X. If you look, you'll see Ibis Paint X is right here. You should have already downloaded it and have it. And you probably set up your first account. So we'll go ahead and open it. Now, our first assignment, we're going to be doing a clone portrait. So we'll be in a picture with ourselves. And so you're gonna need two pictures that you've taken of yourself in order to set this up. So let's go ahead and get started. Go to my gallery. We'll hit the plus right at the top. We set A4, 150 DPI will be good. So we'll go with that. This will give us a letter sized piece of paper that we can use. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna to have to set up three layers. And layers are different levels to this uh, drawing or this picture. If you look down here on the bottom, bottom right, this is the layer symbol. You click on that, you'll see how many layers you have. Now the selection layer is not real layer, um, but where it says number one and it's blue, that's a layer. And right now there's nothing in it. If you look carefully right here, you're gonna see the plus sign to add layers. So we're gonna add two more layers for a total of three layers. The reason we're doing that is on the layer one, we're gonna put a picture that we're not gonna mess with. On layer two, we'll put another picture, preferably of ourselves, and we'll erase everything around us. And then layer three, we can put any shadows or any other stuff um, that we might need to add to make this picture look believable. Now what's cool is once you click on a layer, whoops, I shut it. You can actually move these layers, put them in the order you want. And the best way to do that is click over here where the three lines are on the right. All right, so again, we can close the layers by hitting the layer tool, bring them back by seeing it. Now the eye means you can make it visible or invisible. And uh, that's kind of helpful and I'll show you later. Um, you can also make something uh, uh, kind of semi-opaque or opaque or just normal. But I'll talk about that later. So let's just go ahead and get started. I want to drop in some photos because I'm going to need these photos to make this. And I'm on the first layer. So let me see if I can remember how to get a photo. Okay, having a hard time here. Hmm. I'm going to layer one. Oh, right here. You go to layer one, and where the camera is on the left here by the plus, or you can. You just hit the camera. It'll let you grab your photos from your photo library. So I'll grab this one, put this in the back, scale it down so I fit in there. Hit the green check mark. And we'll leave that alone. Hit. No, I didn't want. Let me go back because somehow I, it made it. Black and white, and I didn't want it black and white. All right, so again, I look at my layers. Layer two has my picture. Oh, I guess I added a layer, but that's all right. It's easy to throw away layers. You just hit the little garbage can right here. So look, I hit that garbage can. So my bottom layer is that first picture. And now I want another picture. This would be the second one, which I'm gonna erase around. Again, go over here to the little camera, except and I'm gonna get this one resize it don't worry you can always resize things later so i'm gonna pull it a little smaller hit the check mark uh, no i don't want to do that i don't want to change it all right so up here this is the one that lets you move and if you grab the corners you can make it bigger or smaller okay again that was the top tool that says transform so yeah, I noticed that it's a little bit smaller, which is okay, because I just need to erase a lot of stuff right now. 
So the eraser tool is one, two, three, four, five, six tools down. And you can make the eraser bigger or smaller right here with this slide toggle. And I'll go for a big one first because I just want to erase. And you'll notice right now, it's a kind of transparent. I want it to completely erase. So I set it at full opacity, getting rid of a lot of stuff fast. Okay. And if you have a crayon or a stylus, now would be the time to get that out. Because what's gonna happen is, we're gonna need to get in there real close. Okay. So I use the big one. Mm, I want to do transform, make it bigger so that it kind of matches the size. I'm going to have him standing. Ooh, I can match the size exactly, I think. Okay, cool. Hit the check mark. Wow, that's looking pretty good. Although you can see if you zoom in, there's some inconsistencies that I need to clear out. And if I just get in with the eraser a little closer, it should be good. Here's the different options for the eraser. Um, I'm happy with what I had, I just want it smaller. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and use my stylus uh, or the crayon because I can get in more accurate, closer. And you know what you can do too, just so you can really see? Go back to the first one, hit the off, so you don't see it. Now you're just seeing this. And you can get in here and really see what you need to erase. Notice I'm using a smaller one so I can get in a little closer. I'm going pretty fast, but that's because it's pretty easy. And I don't want to cut any part of myself off now, I think there is a tool that lets you, when you're doing people, do this really quick, and it does a good job, but I guess we're going a little old school here, just doing the eraser. If you can find that tool, or figure out a way to isolate your body, where there's nothing else, go for it. I don't mind. All right, now I'm really close, so I'm gonna zoom in, go with an even smaller, and really get in there. And I'll have to go around. It's working out pretty good. You can really zoom in there. Okay. You get the idea. So, do your best, get in there. You notice this isn't taking very long, I'm almost done. You can be really picky with this, or if you wanna be a little loose. Okay. All right, got this side of, his, of my body. Okay, around the foot. I think I got a little rough there. I need to smoothen it out probably. Just so it looks better. I don't want the foot to look too weird. That's pretty good. All right, zoom out. Notice how I'm doing the outside right up close. Because then it's easy getting this outside stuff because you don't have to worry about cutting anything off if it's just isolated. Okay. You can fast forward through this part on the video if you're bored. <laughs> but you get the idea. I'm going to zoom in, going with a really small one here.
Cool. Yeah, it looks great to me. I like it. Almost done. Just got this one part here on the arm. Hmm, maybe I could go on a bigger one. Cool. All right. And this was the hard part. So as far as assignments go, there's got to be one of the easier assignments because it doesn't take that long. And this is the hardest thing is just erasing around the outside. Now, once you've erased around the outside, you can go ahead and turn that other layer back on, see how it fits, make any adjustments, and you'll be done. All right, so I'll just round this a little bit just because I want to. Um, there it is, erased everything. Gonna go back here to the layers, turn that one back on so I can see it. It's looking pretty good. I think I could just call it good. Scoot them over, scoot them back. Where do I wanna put them? Looking a little put out. Okay, once you're happy with where they're at, hit the checkbox. Mm, I think I'll lightly go into this layer Put a little bit of a shadow. I'm gonna go with the airbrush, kind of a medium airbrush right here. I guess some of them we can't use. Okay, I can use that one, cool. And then right here on the bottom is what your color is. So there's also an eyedropper right here to let you pick colors. So, Anyway, let me just try putting a little airbrush under here. Too dark. Go back. Maybe make it lighter. That's better. Just a little bit of a shadow, not a lot. Oh, you can see there's something weird there, huh? Eh, not too wild about that. I'll go back till it's gone again. Go even lighter, because it's a really slight little shadow I wanna put, just to make things kind of believable. Okay, I think that's good. Now, check this out, when you're all done, you can lower all your uh, layers by squashing them, by hitting this right here, boom, 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 okay? Uh, but I want all the layers open, because I wanna be able to see them. And so to finish, what you're gonna do is close it up. And then uh, if you ever need to adjust the lighting on any of these, because maybe it's too dark or too light, you can go into one and I'll go into that one. And here where it says uh, FX, you can pick different effects that'll, but you know what, that's not gonna work. Let's not do that. I think what I was trying to get at is in the layers, when you're done with the whole picture, you can go ahead and squish everything and then adjust the color or whatever, but that's another discussion. This will work good for here. So now that you're done, go ahead and go back out to the gallery and here on the eye, we could put the name. If you click that info thing and I'm going to put clone portrait because it's you with your clone. Artist Mr. G. It lets you upload, but you know what? Let's hold off. Click there. And that's it. That's your painting. And then just 
submit it as a PSD file, which is a Photoshop file. And I can talk about that in another video. Thanks for watching.